When operating covertly, it can sometimes be unwise to conceal professional bypass tools on your person. Likewise, making high fidelity versions of these tools in situ can raise eyebrows since buying a Dremel or feeler gauge is a typical behavior for a business traveler. Instead, we can make basic bypass tools by scavenging materials and tools from locations consistent with your cover. In areas where multi-tools like mine are illegal, they can be easily substituted by a kitchen knife and a little bit of extra elbow grease. First, we'll make a door shim from a plastic bottle. Now we will make a tool to open an outward opening door with the same bottle. We cut out a rough crescent shape from the original square. The far end of the tool is easily retrieved and the latch retracted. Next, we used an aluminum can not to make a padlock shim, but rather a decoder. We can use a tearing method to get a smooth, flat edge if scissors aren't available. What we're shooting for here is a piece just a bit larger than a Peterson mini knife, but roughly the same shape. It's definitely slower than with a professional tool, but it gets us in. Lastly, we get into a car with a wire coat hanger. Place a bend mid shaft to steer the hook towards the door. We can also use this tool if we only need access to the trunk.